Just that. Her mother's gotten married and wants Sharon back. But she didn't care. She gave Sharon up. Oh, Leonard. How could you get involved with someone like that? It's beside the point no, now. No, it isn't. It was wrong of me to ask you to raise another woman's child. But now that's all changed. Sharon can have a home and be raised by her own mother. She's happy here. She's part of the family. She belongs here. This wouldn't have happened if we adopted her like I wanted to. But we couldn't have adopted her. That would have been impossible. Why? You're her father. Any adoption has to go through the court. When they checked the hospital records, everything would have come out. I don't care. Darling, don't you realize what a scandal like this would mean to the boys when they're growing up? We can't do that to them. Or to Sharon. I'm afraid we have no choice. Mrs. Rowlings. I have your order ready for you here. Oh, good. Thank you. How are you today? Oh, all right. Yes, sir. That's that wine chili that you ordered. I think you're going to like it. Has this been in here all day? It's been there for over two hours. You thought of taking one of our classes? Well, I took the poison art. Oh, then you don't have the new ripple cut blade? I have so many blades now, I don't know what to do with them. Hello. I, I saw you at Schwab's and I just found them in who you are. Do you remember me? I'm sure you do. I'm sure I don't. I did ballet parking for you for that, that, that big party at the beach you had a few months back. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. I'll see you again. I hope so. Bye. Can I get you something, young man? No, I don't, I don't see anything I need. Mrs. Rawlings, can I explain something to you? Look, the only reason I'm being friendly to you is because I felt like being friendly after I remembered what you did for me, that's all. I thought about it a lot. I mean, you were so mellow that night. Really. You weren't standoffish like... I really enjoyed your little talk. Thank you, thank you very much. I didn't understand that part about the heaven and earth being a thing of the past and a new heaven. Well, that's... But that's from the book you. of Good morning, Sybil. How are you? Never mind. You see that guy back there? Where? The fella standing next to Minister Endicott. What about him? His name is Fred Novins, and he owns half the sporting goods stores in Ohio. And he's widowed, and the rumor is that he's looking around. Sybil, please. He's a terrific guy. Now, don't get mad at me. Bert told him all about you. Good morning, Bert. How are you? Sybil told you. Bert, I really don't want... Listen to me, Evelyn. His wife died about a year ago. I mean, what more could you want? She had something. What did she have, Bert? She had half the sporting goods stores in Ohio. That's what she had. <laughs> she had a stroke. I could introduce you. I don't think so, Evelyn. Ten years you've been a widow. Don't you think it's high time you started to date again? Date? Heavens, no. I... Sybil, thanks anyway, but I finally got comfortable with being on my own. And besides, with all the work, I... it's just impossible. The man owns a yacht, he owns a plane, he Forget owns a... it. Just not interested. But I am. I'd like to get a new rod and reel wholesale. This town is full of guys who get turned on going into Tiffany's and spending 10000 on something like this. The most vulnerable man is the one with power and money, that's why. When he buys the best, he feels safe, secure. If he feels you're loyal, he'll buy you the world. And that's the trick.
It's all here, the dramatic story of the man who brought rhythm and blues all the way from Beale Street to Carnegie Hall. I love my baby until the day I die. I love my baby till the day I die. after the Civil War, when the empire builders thronged to a new El Dorado. Overnight, a boom town sprang from the wilderness, for once again, the earth was giving up its treasure, and men were willing to die for it. Here, a reckless, ambitious adventurer created an empire of silver, where his word was the only law, his gun the only justice. An empire that withstood the fury of a thousand desperate men, but tottered at the smile of one alluring woman. You're aggressive, aren't you? Mm -hmm but like a child. First you want a circus all done up in gold braid, and then you want... You. It's Errol Flynn as Mike McComb, Ann Sheridan as the Silver Queen, Bruce Bennett, Thomas Mitchell. Sooner or later, you and all the rest of them will come back crawling to me like a pack of dogs. I'm going to win this fight. And when I do, I'll wipe you and the Western Combine off the map. This country has a chance to grow, and I'm going to see that it gets that chance. Call off this fight, please. Let's start again. I'll never call it off, Georgia. Never. Don't be like a bunch of sheep. Go in there and make them pay out. 